The Cranston Street Armory, used to house some of the state's homeless over the winter, is winding down operations. Rhode Island's Housing Secretary wrapped up a late afternoon news conference, and 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts was there. She joins us live from Providence with the latest. Amanda? Well, Mike Shannon, the clock was ticking on the armory. It was set to shut down this coming Sunday, but today we learned days before that date it will stay open until mid-May while the state works to find a solution for these homeless individuals who go there 24-7. The Cranston Street Armory warming station's days are numbered. Housing Secretary Stephen Pryor announcing Friday afternoon that the state is winding down the operation over the next two weeks. The date for wrapping up altogether is that Monday, May 15th. There's work that needs to be done over these couple weeks to get there. Pryor said more than 200 new beds are opening up thanks to service providers like Crossroads and Community Care Alliance who are extending capacity for their warming stations and shelters. The armory has been staffed by the National Guard and Amos House. It's heartbreaking. Uh, you know, we are feeling very sad and overwhelmed. Hundreds of homeless individuals have been housed at the armory since it opened in December. The Rhode Islanders who are staying at the armory are being provided referrals routinely through the existing system. Now our numbers are down from around 200 to around 150 every night in part because of these referrals. Kevin Montgomery is one of them. He says they're treated well there, but it's not enough. What about the resources? What about the education? What about the programs that's going to do something to teach us how to take care of ourselves instead of us having to reach out? Now that warming station will stop accepting new people starting this coming Monday, though they said if it's an emergency, they will make exceptions. Live in Providence tonight, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.